Set Trace and Fred, we're travelling up to North Yorkshire, hoping to find uh, some um, old artefacts with Scott in there. Scott, 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 show your face, mate. Yeah. Hello. Cool. So <laughs> Scott from USA is with us. With our Ken, our Ken doing the major driving. Driving. Yeah. It's with the caravan in tow. So office caravan and everything up there. Location up in North Yorkshire. Hopefully, hopefully. Uh, to find some uh, old artefacts. I'm just hoping that Scott finds some old artefacts and coins and hammered. I've had my share, I'm happy whether I find anything or not. Oh, uh, shall I not say that? No, no, I'm not happy. <laughs> I want to do when I find some old stuff. <laughs> I can't but, wait to share with everyone. Yeah, yeah, I can't wait, I can't wait for Scott to pull something out of historical interest and say, oh, this is a first. That's nice. What's that? It's interesting. Some sort of stud, pattern stud. Belt stud, maybe. Uh, a bit of uh, pottery. It's uh, probably Chinese, blue glaze, Victorian, part of a dinner plate, I think. So here we are, look, they've just, they've just bailed it, but the grass, look at this stubble. I mean, we're missing 30% plus. Hey man, heavy duty, look at that. George VI, Penny. That's what we got at the moment. 20. 23 in some sort of belt buckle type thing, I don't know what it is, but modern, not good. Stirrup, uh, it's a horse stirrup, part of a broken one, probably medieval, maybe, not know. Bronze, could be. Uh, but I'm just going to show you something that's significant in this field because I've had drum and all sorts out of here. It's there, all the way on there. Can you see that line of trees all the way on it, 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 all the way on? Yeah, that's a Roman road. That's a Roman road. That's on the maps. A Roman road, people use it at a public path. And across there's a field where I've done and found loads of artifacts. Loads. Let you know that you know we are in historical area. And I've been doing this for 17 years plus, and I have had I murdered. And, oh, lost count what I've had. I had a beautiful Roman cherub a while back with, with wings and that. That was, that was beautiful, but not today, not today. Just got on the field a bit late, it's stubbled and it's really hard work and rock hard is the ground. But we're just giving you a bit of what we call uh, 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 an update of what we found on the first day, on the first four hours of detecting. We're not going to get too excited, but a few things. That's I'm all. I'm excited, don't listen to him. He's got so excited because he's got older than older than 200 year old artifacts, which is which is great. But for me, it's just the, gen the general the general copper stuff. But uh, it's really hot. It's 27, 27 centigrade, and um, I'm starting to flake a bit at the moment. But I had a great day. I uh, got a lot of stuff, and um, I'm okay. The, the day is, did well. 
They just need to work on that battery design. Yeah, but it's a cracking machine, isn't it? There's, oh, there's no doubt yeah, about yeah. it, though. Yeah. So let's get to what you found, then you can explain it all, then. All right. So this is what this is what he's found. Uh, I've got ten buttons. This uh, I believe military, two piece. Uh, oh, that's yeah, that's a military button there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we've got oh, a lot of flat it. buttons. We've got some four hole, two hole, a uh, little cone button, I guess. Yeah. No, these are these are seventy century. This one here. Yeah, they're seventy century buttons there. Yeah. There, Scott. Uh, Victorian so, Fenne, George. Yeah, I believe III. that's 1864. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I can't tell that. Yeah, that that that's uh, that's uh, George III half penny that is. Up there. Okay. Yeah. Now John John told me that this is Hang actually on, we got medieval. To this lot here yet. Hang on. Ah. Uh, Come on. Well, I don't know any of those. That's why yeah, I'm well, going for this, this one. This this uh, I think is a, uh, I, I'm guessing this is a this is a, um, a medieval stirrup um, horse stirrup. That's what I think it may be. So if anybody else thinks any differently. And if you think it's a yeah. reins guide, let me know. Uh, yeah, if you think it's a reins guide. <laughs> uh, this is um, a horse uh, ha harness buckle, uh, a bridle buckle. And I think that's quite old. You know, it could be, it could be Saxon, it could be older than that. We can really not date these very well. And what's that there, mate? Oh, that's just oh that was just there, don't you? Yeah. So the, the main thing that uh, he wanted to show you uh, was this, wasn't it, mate? Yeah. yeah. So this is this is what you want to show. So you're really chuffed about this find, aren't you, really? Yeah. 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 So never explain playing that to, back home. Explain, explain what that is, then, mate. Go on. Uh, well, uh, well, I was told that this is a leg for a cauldron, uh, you know, a big pot. Yeah, and, cooking uh, pot, medieval. That's broken yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. But you can see how it's got the shape. This would be the bottom of Bo the yeah uh, bottom leg. Yeah. Uh -huh. And this would attach to the big yeah cauldron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's yeah. what you got, mate. Yeah. So Great. Yeah, it's not bad, is it? It's my it's oldest bad, thing know. ever. Yeah, so so you, you've definitely beaten the the uh, you know, older than two, uh, 200 years. Oh, so, yeah. So far. First on day. day. On, the, on day one, haven't we? So point it to the shovel there then. All right. Thing. So that, I don't have a clue what that is. Sorry, some sort of... Uh, Looks like a drop pull. Mm, don't know. Uh, we got a uh, George VI penny. 1950 something i should imagine or 40 something uh pat broken door handle to a drawer wooden drawer that is a broken uh probably 18th 17th century buckle probably a shoe or maybe a shoe buckle broken uh and then we've got uh that is some sort of i don't know some sort of uh uh gilded I don't know, some sort of buckle of some kind, Mod modern thing. Looks good, but it isn't. It's just, it's just modern, modern stuff. I can see if there's any writing on there. Anybody knows, you can let me know. Cause I don't have a clue. Eight. I'm not really sure, but I think it's got two holes in, so it'd be a loom way. It could be. I think that is. Uh, and then we've got. Um, now I don't know what this is. I think this is a, a pretty little stud of some kind, and whether it's old, I think it's old. Probably 17th, 18th century. Yet again, it could be. Uh, flower design of some kind, I think, but that's that's what I've got. So, so there you go. Okay, I've found enough ammo and enough medieval stuff. I want Scott from the USA to find ammo, and I'll be happy. I really will. And I've had an idea. But if I find ammo, I'll still be happy. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm waiting for Akin. Akin's had to go home because he's that brought his shorts and he's got his tied with the dog and he's red hot and things like that. I'm hoping our Ken returns tomorrow. He'll do a bit, no problems. So tomorrow, keep an eye out for any live feeds and hopefully we might have something interesting to show you. Thank you very much for joining us and take care and see you tomorrow.